Amen. 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 I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, you can't hear. You, you need a speaker. <laughs> Let me greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you excited to be here? Amen. Uh, don't take me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this before we start. Um, I think this uh, is a, a very good opportunity for you. Amen. And uh, I always tell our people that when you, you come here, you need to take advantage of us. You know, I was telling our pastor, I said to him, uh, we're going to take a very long time to come. And I'll tell you why, uh, because we never travel unless God says we must travel. Amen. Amen. You know, um, we have got pastors, but we also have servants of God. Amen. So now, a place like this from today, it needs you to pray. Yes. You know, you, you can't hear. Yeah, be loud. My, my voice is very small. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is very small. Maybe I need a miracle like Jesus. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that when you are here, uh, from this moment, uh, you're not going to talk again. Uh, no more talk. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you're with your wife, no more talk with your Amen. wife. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you why. Because when you enter here, you need to know why you're coming here. You know, I was telling some people, I said, we cannot leave, you know, a church of thousands and thousands of people you know, to come and play here. No. You know, I'm, I'm with my father. He, he's a man who doesn't want to travel anyway. So if he comes here, you need to take us very serious. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now what you do from this moment, as we're going to be studying one-on-one, -on -one, you don't talk. You start to pray. Start to pray. You know, someone said, that, why pastors in Africa, you know, they're different from pastors in America? Mm -hmm. <laughs> someone has been saying something like that. <laughs> and I can, I can answer that. You know, pastors in Africa, we've got more time with God. Yes, yeah, that's true. We are prayerful. Yes. As this man, what time is it now? One o'clock. Mm. We have never eaten anything. Did we eat? No. <laughs> you know, we're going to be here. We're going to be here the whole day without food. Mm -hmm. See you people. Amen. 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 That makes a difference. Yes. Because some people when they wake up, breakfast, yes. lunch, <laughs> and we are pasta. Mm. Hmm? And we are pasta. You know, the Holy Spirit requires a lot of discipline Amen. to be maintained. Yes. Yeah, that's why these days we don't have fear. You know, a pastor can fornicate and still stand on the pulpit. Yes. And you still praise him. He's ah, he's a right man of God, he's a right. Because you can't see. You see that? Yes. Because you are blind, you can't see. Yes. So now, from this moment, we'll be praying. And I will tell you this, we are not the ones who started one on one. It's Moses who started one on one. Huh? Do you read your Bible? Yes. Huh? Yes. You know there was a time his father in law said to him, Appoint some people that can help you with this work. That's true. Or else you're going to die. Can you see that? So now Paul also was doing one on one. How many of you know that? Yes. Huh? Yes. You don't know that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, we have uh, got pastors who read the word of God on Sunday. <laughs> Some people, they read the Bible to preach. Yeah. You know, they don't read it to themselves. So now, we are not the ones who started this. It's Moses who started one on one. Paul did the same thing. So now, we are on those shoes. We are wearing the same shoes. Amen. So please, we want to start. We don't want to waste any time. Amen. But remember this, we are not going to be long. 
I always say this thing, we don't bless people. There's a man called Jesus Amen. that will bless you today. Amen. Amen. Yes. If, if we say we bless people, we are false pastors. That's right. You hear that? Yes. Any pastor who can say, I can give you this, I can anoint you, there has to be something wrong there. But Jesus in us will do something. Amen. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. 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 Say amen again. Amen. Are you ready for one on one? Amen. So are you ready for one on one? Amen. amen. We are going to be very fast. Because otherwise we can take the whole week with you people. You are so many. <laughs> but as I finish here, I want you to start praying. Because we are not here to play. Some people, when they look at us, they think we are very young. You know, when I was in Atlanta, I asked another boy, I said, how old do you think I am? He looked at me and said, you look 25. <laughs> I, I love the Lord. You know, if me, I've been in the ministry for almost 20 years. Can you see that? Oh, oh, in fact, 20 now, 20 years, serving in the ministry. How old do you think I am? Can you, can you see that? So now, if I'm on that age, what about our father then? Mm -hmm. We look very young. Uh, it's, it's, it's the blood of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's the blood of Jesus is working. So if you're with your wife, don't allow your wife to disturb you. If you are with your husband, don't allow your husband to disturb you. Amen. I want you people to stop praying. Mm -hmm. One time I said to people, salvation is not a community of property. Mm -hmm. Salvation is not a joint thing. Mm -hmm. I told my wife that if I enter in the church, I don't know you again. Mm -hmm. You are my wife at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are before Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let me fix Amen. my life. Amen. 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 You hear that? Yeah. Even if you can be married, you've got your own issues. Your partner also, they've got their own issues. Yeah. When you come before God, open up your heart. Yeah. Don't allow another person to disturb you. Yes. Yes. Amen. You know, same thing applies when you die. When you die, then when the coffin is going down, your wife will be looking like this. <laughs> but she will never enter me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you must love your partners. Amen. Amen. You must treat them very well. Yes. But what I'm trying to tell you is that do not allow someone to disturb you. Do you hear me? Amen. Amen. So sometimes you want to pray, your wife will be, maybe your husband has got a demon, he will be you know, doing it like this. He wants to start a topic. No, no more topics. The message that I'm giving you, I'm not saying you must not like. No, me, I, I, I love my wife like nothing on this planet. So I love your partners, but at this moment, we are before God. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Amen. We are before God. I want you to start praying. Don't make noise. Start praying in your heart. Don't disturb each other, please. Because when you come here, it's just going to be one minute. We are done. It's Jesus that will bless you. So many testimonies we have been having. So many testimonies. Amazing testimonies. Because you cannot come to Charis and you remain the same. Amen. That's right. Charis Amen. changes people. Amen. You come to Charis as a broken man, you become a prophet. Amen. 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 Can I say that again? Amen. If you come to Charis as a broken man, you become a prophet. Amen. Amen. So please, today God will change your life. Amen. Amen. But also check your faith. Yes. Start to pray now as we'll be starting. Amen. And another thing, I'm sure we're going to see, you are going to see both of us. Uh, it's a blessing for you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Just a word from a prophet, your life will be changed forever. Amen. 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 Your history, God will rewrite it. Amen. Amen.